Hi, my name is uh, Ryan Milbury. I'm uh, an RN. I work on Bliss 8 at Harvard Hospital. My name is Elaine. I'm a labor and delivery nurse. Hi, I'm Debbie. I've been a nurse for 36 years. I've been a nurse since 1978. My name is Delia Foran and I am an emergency room nurse. I have been a nurse for 47 years. And ever since I was six years old, I constantly took care of people in my family. Ever since I was a little kid walking around with my medical bag, playing doctor with my stuffed animals. I was 13 years old when Harvard Hospital started Lifestar program and that's when I said that's what I want to do. I'm an APRN, I work for St. Francis Hospital and I am in the field of psychiatry. I'm the one who comes to the floor and they're covered in tubes and lines and you, we get you better and then you go home. And we see miracles every day. Um, we are privileged to be able to work with families at the most sacred times, whether it's the birth of a child or at the end of a person's life. Um, it's a big responsibility. We care for everybody like they are our own family. Patients need a lot more than just flushing their IV or patients need a lot more than just listening to their heart and lungs. You know, they're sitting in that bed literally all day for three, five, six, ten, three weeks and they need someone who's going to smile and they need someone who's going to be able to address little concerns along the way. Staying to like feed a patient who can't feed themselves or hold someone's hand while they have a procedure or wait for a family to come in after a trauma or something. It's been those little things that I guess you don't even need to have any real medical knowledge. It's just knowing that when people need something and being there for them. Maybe it's that time at 3 a.m. when they're you know staring up at the ceiling and they're thinking you know what what's going on with my life you know the doctors are telling me this my oncologists are telling me this I don't know what's going on you know it's those times where you can try to you know maybe sit down for a few minutes and talk with them and try to put it all together and put it in some perspective. We're always trying to make a connection with the patient and oftentimes I'll just hold their hand in flight if they're awake and they're you know able to look around. It's that delicate balance that ability to leave behind our own concerns and really be focused on what's happening in front of us that makes us unique. And I think that nurses do that uh, in a way that's extremely creative and can really exemplify compassion. Taking a holistic approach, touching, caring, just sitting quietly with um, a family. Connecting in a way that is so completely authentic that it opens up the door for the best of humanity to come forward. You get to share in the most special day of their lives and they rely on you and you they learn to trust you. Helping people, explaining the process of what's happening to them, but whether it's technology or family dynamics or a complex patient condition where there are just so many different things going on and multi-systems involved and it's just a big puzzle and to get to figure out all the pieces of that puzzle and how they fit together and how you can make it better is, I don't know, so challenging and so rewarding at the same time. We're very determined and we have to kind of know the whole story in order to know that the person's going to be okay once they leave us because in the hospital is just one piece of the treatment or one part of the process. It's really how to make somebody live better when they leave us as well. Definitely a very humbling job. Um, there's days where you just want to go home and hug your children and then there's days where you know you saved a life. Had some very painful moments but but also um, the joy of helping someone get through that uh, grieving process. Over time you realize that you do everything you can to help them and it's kind of like it's all out on the table and you just hope for positive outcomes and when it's not a positive outcome you just have to understand that you did everything that you could do. Even if you know the situation is completely hopeless and there's nothing more medically we can do for someone, as a nurse you can still make a difference. You can still ease that person's pain. You can still comfort that family member. Sometimes people confuse um, healing with a cure. And healing oftentimes is simply a return to wholeness, whatever that is for that person. So somebody could be terminally ill and actively dying and have a healing. When you think about how you contribute to that person's quality of life, it certainly isn't the quantity, but it's the quality, and that's all about nursing. Every day I'm learning something new, and that's what I really enjoy about it. Every single day is different. 
Every single situation is different, every patient is different. New faces, um, new people with, with new issues and um, I think that's how we evolve as nurses is that um, we face these new circumstances or, or situations and we find the, the best way to, to deal with it. It's a real team effort and you, you get to know the people that you work with very closely and rely on them and they rely on you and it's a great feeling. Learned that early on that I was never alone and no matter how busy my other co-workers and nurses were, they always stepped in to help and it just always makes a difference. We, we share a bond like no other. We, we go through life's most difficult times and you know we're always there for each other, we're always supporting each other and, and I love them, yeah. And that's what makes nursing so great. We're part of a medical team, the um, social service, any, any aspect and we also are part of the family that we um, work with. If you take each moment and you look at it for what it is and you understand the value of what you've given to another patient, it becomes more of what you are than what you do. I think that nursing is kind of like your way of life. When you're a nurse, you go home and people know you're a nurse and you get the phone calls to ask you questions and your husband, you know, when they're sick, you're a nurse. You may be out on the playground watching your kids play and if someone falls down, you're a nurse then too. When you're in a crowd or if you travel, you can, you know, nurses tend to gravitate together and you end up sitting at the same table. And it is like coming home. It's like an instant connection and everybody starts talking nursing. Oh, what do you do? You know, where do you work? How is that for you? You know, how do you do this? Or what happens there? It's totally exceeded all my expectations. I, I didn't know what the job entailed initially and I just grew to absolutely love it. I can get up in the morning and like I said, look forward to going to work. And not many people can say that. Patients tell me all the time, you know, I can tell you really love your job. And then I tell them, yeah, I do. I like it when patients are ready to be discharged and they go home and they know that you've helped them in some way, uh, that you understood them, and they usually say thank you. They say thank you. It's nice. Seeing patients come back after they've left you and been discharged, people that you've had as patients for months and months, really sick people, and having them come back and, and walk on the unit and you see like the fruits of your labor, you know, just see their success stories and say, hey, I actually helped that person. I, I helped them get to where they are today. And they remember you, and that's really cool. That bond is never ending. You know, it, it goes on, and that's the rewarding part. You know, if it's, especially if it's a, a really small, sick child, and to see them come back and they're doing well. But you just don't know how, you know, what the future is for the, the children and the family. So it's, it's rewarding to see it. A lot of times uh, patients will come back, families will come back and they'll say thank you. And it's not the thank yous that mean the most, it's the fact that they're able to say thank you. When somebody genuinely um, gives me a hug because they don't have words, that means more to me than probably anything. When a family comes back down to the emergency room to tell you, to, to find, seek you out and thank you, or they write you a letter, or just things like that, just really is my favorite part, knowing that you've actually really made a difference. I don't really know the answer to what the reward is. I just know that you go home at the end of the day and you feel like you helped somebody. Nursing started out as a job. It started out as a profession. In 30 years, it's become my calling. It's what I'm meant to do. It's what I realized I'm meant to do. And, and I, you know, I couldn't imagine doing anything different because this is who I am. You know what? If someone would give me housing and, and room and board and have a roof over my head, I would do it for free because it feels great in your heart. I mean, it just feels great taking care, helping people, doing what people need. That's it.